Just a quick friendly reminder that all of my videos contain adult content, bad language, sexual references, both heterosexual and homosexual. We do not discriminate here, guys, so my videos are not intended for two groups. One is underage kids. Sorry, guys. Once you turn 18, come back. We'll be more than happy to have you guys as subscribers. Two is people who get offended easily. Fags of the world, which of course is a statement of fact and not directed at somebody's sexual orientation, but mainly pussies in general. Now, if you fall into the second group, please exit my video and feel free to go fuck yourselves. If you do not fall into any of these groups, be proud in knowing that you were part of the coolest motherfuckers on the world and enjoy the video, you sexy son of a bitches, you. So the doctor said, if this is my thermometer, where's my pen? What's up, everybody? Welcome to part two of our Funko Pop Hall and unboxing from San Antonio, Texas, where Pee Wee Herman loves keeping his bike in the basement of the Alamo. Now, we went to San Antonio looking for four pops. Four, count one, two, three, four, five. Four pops. One was a Batman versus Superman glow in the dark. For, uh, it's a Walmart exclusive. The second one was the same thing. It, they're, they're two packs. The same thing, Batman versus Superman, the Toys R Us exclusive, and those are metallic, I wanna say. The third one was the Independence Day alien, where the head actually uh, opens up to reveal the actual alien inside. And that is a GameStop exclusive, I think. A Chase exclusive. And the third one was I wanted to get some of the Walgreens exclusives. Um, I didn't care which ones, but I really wanted the Green Goblin. And I especially wanted the metallic Green Goblin Walgreens exclusive. Now, we struck out at all of these stores. The next day, I went looking for some of these, and I found one of them. Stay tuned towards the end of the video and you'll see which ones we got look. Okay, we went searching for four fucking exclusive and let me show you all the fucking pops we ended up getting. None of the ones we wanted, but a shit tons of other ones that we really liked. Okay, first one, I'm not gonna unbox all of these cause I don't fucking, I don't think my phone has about two hours of memory, but I'm just gonna go over these, but there's three of them I wanna unbox and I like, those are the most favorite. All right, the first one is Teddy Bear Girl from The Walking Dead. Of course, you fucking want to get this one. This one is just fucking awesome. I couldn't pass this up. Look, fucking cute little thing. It's fucking dead. It's a zombie. And it has braces. Look how cute that is. The only difference is this one has a different design on the pajamas than this one. But either way, I don't remember which episode she comes out in. Because <clears throat> The Walking Dead, yeah, well, obviously AMC. So they're following the TV show, not the comic. I don't remember where this chick comes out. If you guys know, fucking leave me a comment and let me know. Call me a dumbass. Yes, I know. I am a fan of the show, but I just don't remember. But I just, I, I, I love this one. Uh, 154 in the series. And it comes out with the, ah, oh, that is a fucking great pop. If you have that one, that is fucking awesome. All right, let's go by real, uh, pretty quick here. All right, the next one is the Mad Hatter from the Alice in Wonderland movie. Now, this, I, I, under, I understand that they're having a second part of Alice in Wonderland. Ah, uh, oh, the fucking box is gonna fuck up. Son of a bitch. Look, we get so excited and fucking, we get such a hard on for these fucking things. Sometimes we forget to check the boxes. Look at that shit. Son of a bitch. Anyways, there's a Queen of Hearts, Mad Hatter, Alice, and the Cheshire Cat. And this one is just fucking awesome. Look how big that fucking hat is. Holy shit. That is awesome. Uh, Johnny Depp did a pretty good job. I love it. Uh, but I'm still a big fan of the cartoon. All right. Again, now we got Alice. Johnny Depp was 177. We got Alice 176. Eh, something simple. You know, it's just pretty much to complete the set. Um, nothing too big or, or extravagant on this one, except for the dress. The dress is very nice. Jesus Christ, did I just say that? I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to fucking go back, beat the shit out of myself, and tear up my own man card. Anyways, the next one is fucking a Oompa Loompa. Let me show you both of them. We got fucking Willy Wonka and an Oompa Loompa, which you have to. This is going to complete the set for these. The Oompa Loompa is number 254 in the series. And this is the old school Oompa Loompa, and which I think is the absolute best. Speaking of Johnny Depp, yeah, he did a good job. I really do, but I really do think he did. But oh my God, fucking the first one was just fucking awesome. And you can't have Oompa Loompas without fucking Mr. Jean Welder. Mr. Willy Wonka himself. Look at that shit. Oh, he has a cane too. I didn't even notice. And what is his shirt? Oh, it's just flowers. It would have been better if it's candy, but this is awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is a fucking beautiful pop. Uh, great to, there's only two in the series, so that's awesome. You can collect it real quick. Uh, well, 253 in the series. I love this fucking movie. You get nothing. Good day, sir. 
Fucking awesome. I love that one. I don't mean to throw you. I'm sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. All right, here we go. And this one is called Nightmare of Batman. For no idea why, it's uh, Batman versus Superman number 89 in the series. He's got a trench coat on for some reason. He's got a shit ton of dirt or some shit like he was in a, a, a desert storm or something like that. Not the war, but an actual storm in the desert or a sandstorm. And he's got fucking some shadow. He's got some five o'clock shadow there. I guess he forgot his bat razor. But, yeah, uh, this is the only one I'm fucking missing. It's pissing me off. Uh, number 89 in the series. We also got Batman vs. Superman, uh, Superman Soldier. Uh, I didn't want this, but the wife convinced me to get it just to complete the series, which I didn't because I thought I had that one, but I don't. So, anyways, I'm still fucked. Uh, it's got, like, a, it should have a Superman. Yeah, it's got a Superman emblem or a tattoo or some shit. That really doesn't look like Superman, though. Uh, I'll check it out later on. But yeah, it's just a regular, looks like a military soldier, and that's it. And the only mark on him is whatever that is, and I'll probably check it out later on. Okay, and this one, Batman vs. Superman number 84, obviously Batman, and that's, it's, it's Batman, that's it, what is that? Oh, he's got a battering in his, okay, and oh, there you go, he's got the large fucking Frank Miller Batman on his chest. Love it, that's awesome. He's got some gold on his boots, I don't know why, maybe, oh, well, he's fucking Bruce Wayne, he can fucking afford it too, god damn it. Who am I to judge him? Fuck you. Does it have the short... Uh, God damn it, Glare. He doesn't have short uh, ears, does he? Yeah, he does. But they they look kind of the same as the regular uh, Batman Pops. Anyways, let's go with the ones I'm going to unbox. The ones we're going to look a little bit more in depth. Now, the first one is... Pirates of the Caribbean, Davy Jones. Now, with this series, I really fucking, I got uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Haven't been able to find Elizabeth Swan, but Captain Jack Sparrow, fucking awesome detailing. Captain Barbosa, even better fucking detailing. Now, check this fucking guy out. Davy Jones, where's, where's Davy? Dave, Davy, here you go. Check this fucking guy out. First of all, look at that fucking face, man. Fucking awesome. He's got some sections right here that looks like they come off, but they don't. Look, I don't know if you can tell. But, yeah, it's sectioned off like they do come off. But I have no idea. I, I've been pulling at this motherfucker, even though I shouldn't. But I've been pulling on it to see if it comes off and nothing. Look, even his fucking hat has barnacles on it. That is awesome. Look at the fucking claw on this dude. He's got a peg leg and he's got his cane. Dude, he's got barnacles. Even his cane has barnacles. Seriously? Holy shit. But, yeah, look at the fucking detailing. There, none of I don't think any of these are bobbleheads. But a fucking awesome detailed pop look at the size of this fucker's head man and you know what they say guys with the big heads <laughs> they wear big hats uh can he even stand up okay yeah i guess it's a it's a three point uh like a tripod here and that's what keeps him up because if he didn't have this fucking cane he'd be fucked to shit but this is but this has got to be my favorite so far from this haul as far as detailing oh he's got that weird thing that, that opens up when he talks and he breathes at it or something like that and he's got a mouth most most of the pops don't have mouths, but oh, that's that's still cool, man. But look, his tentacle goes all the way around the cannon. This is fucking awesome. Such a great fucking pop. I love that one. The next one is the Alien from Independence Day, uh, number uh, 283. Now, the ones you can get from this series are, here we go, his uh, Jeff Goldblum's character and Will Smith's character. But this one is fucking awesome. And I noticed on this one, uh, it's got some sectioned off pieces too like they come out and i've been pulling at them but nothing but just just stare at this fucking thing for a little bit look at the tentacles on this fucking thing it's got little bits of fucking purple all over the place it's got about fucking four crooked penises coming out from its mouth apparatus hey fuck it man aliens might be all about the pleasure thing there's no fucking gay or straight with them man fuck them don't fucking judge them and here's oh my god the pop i was looking for for this one you see these creases in the movie this is just a suit and the real alien is in this big fucking head. And when they find this out, they cut it right down the middle and it opens up. And then there's the real alien itself. Just a smaller version of what the suit looks like. But look at this. This is fucking awesome. Those tentacles. By his, and look, he put on his fucking sandals backwards or some shit. Or he borrowed his parents' sandals and he fucking, they didn't have one his size. Stupid alien. But anyway, look how fucking cool this looks. It's just fucking awesome. I love this one. This one, Davy Jones fucking rocked it. And the third one I'm unboxing is Atlas in Wonderland number 178. Hot Topic exclusive, Cheshire Cat. Again, this is the only one I'm missing. And here it is. This one is an exclusive, it's not a ball head, but it's flocked. Now let me see if you can take a good look there. If you can see barely, it's, uh, it's fuzzy. 
and that's what flock means it's fuzzy normally these well these things are always made out of vinyl so it's like plastic so it's nice and smooth but this one being a cat it's nice and fuzzy and just look how fucking menacing that looks it look how fucking creepy it looks oh motherfucker it's got a fucking it's damaged son of a bitch I tell you, man, fucking me and my wife get wet when we see all these things and we don't fucking start thinking about shit like this. So we just, oh, you know what? This was the last one. So that's why we got it. But look, from here down, down, it's really cute. It's a little pussycat. But when you take this away, you got this fucking weird, creepy smile. We are all mad here. But nonetheless, very awesome pop. Very, very cool. It's got fucking like sh shit on its... Oh, I guess that's like supposed to be fur that's kind of partying from his tail. But anyways, all right, guys. So that's going to be for it for this unboxing. Now, I told you we found one of the exclusives that we're looking for. And let me unbox that one. All right, guys. Like I said, the last day in San Antonio, I went back to a few stores in a last minute effort to find some of the fucking exclusive we want. And lo and behold, I found one. And motherfucker, it's a doozy. That's right. I got the Vagina Alien. And it's a limited edition Chase uh, edition. Well, limited edition Chase exclusive. Now, the thing with these is the Hot Topics guy, they couldn't... No, not the Hot Topics. The GameStop guys. They couldn't fucking look any of these up because this one and the regular one have the same uh, 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 SKU number, they said. Uh, SKU, which means the fucking the barcode. So... They couldn't look up this specific one and the guy told me that look we got a big fucking box and they're full of these the regular ones and every once in a while you'll find the other one the exclusive one so there's no telling who has what and I found one and oh fuck dude I had to take the guy out to the fucking alley and let's not talk about it but anyways here it is vagina alien now this is what it looks like when it opens up. They cut in the movie, they cut it right here. The thing opens up like a big vagina or a big flower, and then you have the real alien, the mastermind of it all. This is just the armor of it. But look, it even has the eyes where it's split open. How fucking cool is that? Now, everything should be relatively the same. Yeah, look, it's got the same spots in every place. It's got the same big sandals that it borrowed from its dad. And the only thing it doesn't have, well, okay, it's got a crooked penis sticking out, but this one has four crooked penis uh, in his mouth. This one only has two, but still, this is a fucking sweet ass pop. Cut down the middle, split open, and it's got some weird markings right here. But the box itself is a little bit beat up, but I don't give a flying fuck. I'm just happy to find this motherfucker. But the paint job on this thing is immaculate. I tried looking for defects in this thing and nothing, guys. But I am so happy. And to be honest with you, this is the one I really wanted. And there you go. A side-by-side -side of the ordinary and the fucking exclusive, guys. All right, guys. That's going to be end the end of for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Everyday Random Shit, S-H exclamation point T. And don't forget to like us in on Facebook. Both of those descriptions are going to be down below in the video description. Until next time, guys. Peace out.